fun little thing that I like to do when I'm wrapping my holiday gifts. So of course I have to have my beverage and I have a special um, mixed beverage that I am drinking this year. Typically I just drink a bottle of wine, oh gosh not a bottle of wine, I have some wine and um, I decided to mix it up um, this year. So, okay, so I'm going to pour my pink champagne. a lot and open my lemonade. I probably should have got strawberries. To make it look fancy? Yes. But this will have to do. And you can also salt the rim with um, some sugar. And that's it. Hello, hello. So nobody's jumping on yet. Okay. Oh, someone got on. Hey, Kathy. Okay, so I am doing my wrapping, Christmas wrapping, and I have a little game that I play um, when I'm doing the wrapping, which I don't know if you really call it a game because I think I take advantage and, and do the wrapping anyway. So... I have Christmas vacation on in the background, so hopefully Facebook isn't gonna kick me off because of that. Um, my wrapping theme this year is the same, actually. Um, Buffalo Checker. I got this from Marshalls last year, and look how much I still have left. So I'm actually gonna use that, and I, um, you know what, let me turn this down just a sec. It was like kind of loud. Okay, so. I have the buffalo checker and I actually have this other, this is my backup wrapping paper like from, I don't know, four or five years ago. Um, I did a, what was the theme that year? I think I did like um, more of a like parchment paper looking wrapping that had like, um, it was, oh my gosh, I put tape on this, I can't get it off. So it was like, I think it had like snowflakes or something and reindeers and this so it was mainly like parchment color and then this, the snowflakes were the silver this was the only one out of that um wrapping that was all silver and had the um see that's like the parchment color background so i'm actually not using this side um although it's pretty it's not going with my thing so i'm actually going to use this side which if you have the, you know, parchment paper or whatever, wrapping paper, that's great. This will work too. But I'm just, I still have this wrapping paper, so you still have like a lot left. So I thought I'd finish using the rest of it. And what I'm going to use as the bow to tie in with my Buffalo Checker wrapping paper is the ribbon that I got. I got this from... Target and it was five dollars and I used it to decorate my tree and I have leftovers those that's my theme for that's everyone for my husband's family and my family and um, every year for the girls and I every well yeah I, I get special wrapping paper for the girls um, and this is their wrapping paper so each one of them I used to have them pick out their own wrapping paper but um, now that I don't put tags, or now that I don't have them pick up, pick out the wrapping paper, I assign them a wrapping um, paper. And here's the other thing, I don't tell them which one's theirs until Christmas Day. So as they see them getting piled up out there, they're like, ooh, I wonder who, you know, they don't know, so it's a surprise. So what I do, because I um, will forget, is I actually cut out a, whatever little scrap piece for I get have leftover, you know, once you're um, wrapping, I just write their name and I hide it because I will forget who is assigned to what. So let's get started. So I went to Dollar Tree today to get some tape and other little things. I found these name tags um, also. So these are for my family members will get name tags, but the girls just don't get name tags. And also by doing this, it helps on name tags. I don't have to get extra name tags when I assign the girls their wrapping paper. Um, 
I went and got boxes there. I was disappointed because I just wanted plain white boxes and I can't for the life of me figure out where I put my boxes from last year. So I did find these boxes which actually are cute and don't need wrapping paper. Um, but I like to stay within my theme so I am going to wrap cover them. And I, somewhere around here, hold on. Okay. So here's the wrapping game. Hey Amanda. Okay, so here's how the wrapping game goes. I kind of did a little intro on just like what I do every year for my holiday games. I I love Halloween and Christmas. Christmas used to be my ultimate like like a favorite holiday because my birthday is in December. But I guess I don't know over the years Halloween's become my also favorite. So whoa. So I kind of like go all out every year. I have um, accumulated, I think four, no, five Christmas boxes now. And um, my Halloween boxes are like giving my Christmas boxes competition. The reason why I say that is because every year I like to change up my theme. And that's probably another um, Facebook Live I'll share with you guys is I just realized today that my Christmas tree that I decorated um, I like to change up my theme every year, so I do kind of use recycle, you know, whatever some of my decorations, but I decorated my tree with pretty much a majority of um, Dollar Tree uh, decorations. So I just wanted to share that with you too because it can be done. If, uh, I also like to change up my decorations just so that when the girls do one day leave me, I can rummage through all the stuff I have and they can kind of pick and choose what they'd like to use um, for their tree when they have their own tree one day. Okay, so here's how the game works though. Here's how the game works. I have a beverage, uh, this could be of your choice. So anytime you lose your scissors, your tape, your wrapping paper, your tissue paper, a box. Um, I, I'm watching uh, Christmas Vacation, so if you lose your remote, um, you're supposed to take a sip of your beverage. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. I probably, because it's so delicious, will just drink, take a sip in between anyways. Um, so that is how the game goes. And, um, what else? I don't know. Any guys have any questions? This is totally. I think I did a live on this last year. I up my um, wrapping game also. Um, not as in the game we're playing, but as in like how I wrap. Because <laughs> uh, I usually do this on the floor. And as I'm getting older. Um, I realize like I'll be doing this on the floor and my foot falls asleep or it's like, oh my gosh, I can't get up because yeah, that's what happens when you get old, right? Turn the camera around just a sec. Let me grab you guys. Okay. So I'm not sitting on the floor anymore because I went and got my husband's table. So let me see. Let's turn you guys around. Okay. So this is a super cool little tiny table. I'm going to try it out this year. See how it works. But um, my sister-in-law actually um, got this for him and it has like a little handle it's for, his, for camping. Um, so, turn you guys around. Okay, any, guys also, if you want to share your little wrapping tips, that would be fabulous. Um, I am gonna start off with showing you how I'm gonna use this one. That's, so, hopefully this works because Okay, so again, I'm using the, this one inside out. And do you guys wrap or do you guys um, use bags? Also, comment. if And if you're a replay watcher, you can comment too. I'll reply at the end. <laughs> or once I get the comment. Okay, once I read the comment. I actually love bags. I do not. I'm really bad. Okay, so when it comes to Christmas, I go all out. I love wrapping. Um, I love getting, having themes. But when it comes to all, any other like occasion, anniversary, um, birthday, oh, birthdays especially, I do not like wrapping. 
Hey Joyce, so I was just sharing some of my wrapping tips and this game that I'm playing, every time that I lose something that I'm using to wrap, which now that I'm a little organized, I don't know how this is gonna work, um, but I get to take a sip of my champagne here. So, and also if you have any wrapping tips or what you do, please share those also. Um, but yeah, so when it comes to holidays, other, or should, any birthdays or anniversaries, things like that, I hate, yeah, sip, sip. I hate wrapping. I, I prefer bags. They're super easy. I love, you know, doing, plus you can recycle bags. You can use them, you know, obviously for another occasion. Wrapping paper, you're fed up and it's pretty much done. Unless you're my grandmother who will very carefully unwrap her gift so that she can reuse, her intentions are to reuse the, the paper, but my aunt will like throw the paper away. She's like, no, you're not reusing that. And that sucks all the tape that you have to use. So this, yeah, so I have um, extra on hand. Okay, so, so I'm going to attempt to use this ribbon. I'm not very good when it comes to wire ribbon. I'm still kind of learning. Oh, thanks for the love. Um, when it comes to that. So this is the bottom, which means I should start my ribbon this way. So you're gonna face down, I think, the, so that when I twist the ribbon, it'll be on the back side, which this is, so that's the back side. Um, one day I'll be a pro at ribbon, um, but for wrapping all this. I actually saw a little hack too. Let's see if that works. So what you do is instead of twisting it, you just use tape. So you like line it up to where you want it to be, like so. Let's see if it works. If not, we'll just twist it. Okay. So you twist it and then just tape your ribbon and then you also can just like make a faux ribbon oh actually just lost my tape guys I didn't see it so I'm taking a sip I don't know if I really like the way this looks we'll see <laughs> just I don't know we'll see okay so I just tied the See, it doesn't lay flat, so I'm not sure. We'll put some more tape on it. It was worth a shot. I saw a life hack on it, so we'll see. I'm wrapping that side around, covering up the taped side. Okay, so now I am estimating how much ribbon I'm going to actually use to create the bow for this. A gift and bear with me because I'm really not so good at tying ribbon and creating so bows. I'm gonna tie twist down so far that's all I got I just tied it down and now I'm going to let's see if I should gather it make it let me see if I can make a bow if I can make a bow ta-da that's my bow <laughs> So this comes with 20 um, name tags. Actually, I probably won't use all of them. But another thing that I forgot to mention, why I wanted to use um, like the parchment was that um, I was gonna go ahead and just use Sharpie to write who it's from just in the corner instead of and so saving on um, name tag. See, just like that and that's it. Um, that is it. So, okay, this is the other buffalo checker. What I do though, also, I don't, um, when it, I like to put my name tags and my bows in the center of the present. I don't like that, and then I'm gonna go get some burlap to add to that. So, that's it, guys. Um, I'm gonna continue wrapping, hopefully, not getting too tipsy so that everything is straight <laughs> and not crooked. But thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a um, wonderful day, and Merry Christmas. Bye.